this is for Elin Claris Tan, um, and she just wants some some feedback on here. So, the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you just want to kind of look at your um, your level of grab brush here. Your your kind of composition level, um, and what I mean by that is. First, you're kind of almost on a square composition. <clears throat> so breaking this into thirds, you can see, easily see that nothing really kind of fits in here. Um, so you're having issues with kind of the, the, the overall layout and concept. And I know you've already got a lot of work in here, but the issue is that you want to kind of organize th these concepts a little bit more, um, how do I want to put this? You want to organize these concepts a little bit more so that things fall within those rules of thirds. And so just really quickly here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go into lasso tool and I'm actually going to lasso out a couple of different things. Um, the first thing I'm going to lasso out is uh, the mermaid. And I'm going to lasso out this block with her too. And You can easily see, and let me just just about done here. Okay, so the first thing is lassoing out. Oops, uh, let's minimize, subtract this, subtract this. Uh, let's take out that. Okay, so I'm gonna take her out of the the equation by doing a, a cut, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him out of the equation. Um, as well. And let me just. No, oh, did I do a copy or did I cut? Yeah, let's reselect here. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull him out using another cut. And I'm just going to do this really roughly so that we can. So you're not spending all the time doing watch me cut out things here so I'm gonna cut that out alright and the next thing I'm gonna cut out is the background uh, which is we are going to kind of use this as a cut and I'm actually gonna cut out the background but I'm gonna take the leaves and I'm gonna really roughly Roughly do this, and um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on here. Just going to take these leaves, and all right, here we go. Track this, track this, take some of that out just really quickly. Okay, that looks good. And this is going to be my cut here. And that's going to make this simpler to cut out this. Oops. Let's cut that out. Okay, so now I've got uh, separate layers here. Um, what I've got is I've got the... the uh, the back or the foreground elements here. I've got the upper foreground elements, and I've got the middle ground background, which she's going to be gone in a few seconds here. Just let me kind of roughly paint her out. And Okay, so she's roughly just kind of painted out. Um, and then I've got, I'm going to move this into the foreground elements. So that basically is my foreground. Um, I've got him back in there, and then I've got her. 
Now, using the rule of thirds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him up and over here like this. So he now becomes kind of a, a focal point on one of the corners. And then what I'm going to do with her is move her down a little bit. And that's going to give you a kind of a better idea. Um, and then what I'm going to do is we're going to kind of move this down. And I'm going to just copy this layer. And I'm going to move this over up here like this. And so, as you can see, uh, I broke apart quite a bit of this information here. So now let's fix what you've got, uh, what what we've got going on here. So this here uh, is my foreground, and I'm just going to really quickly kind of brush in the dynamic, uh, that pasting ability here. Uh, let's grab some of this, and we're just going to pop some of that in there. And um, let's bring some light in from the background here. Just kind of, kind of stretch that out, um, like so on and so forth. Oops, and that was actually. Let's do a couple of those. And do that right in the background again, here. There we go. So I'm just going to roughly paint some of this in there, get some of those yellow stripes in there. Um, kind of rough this in in the background. Get some of your tree in the background again. More of your leaves. Uh, Let's see, what was the original color in the background there? Let's grab some of that color and paint some of this in there. So now even though this is kind of foreground elements and things like that, and oops, let's grab this. So now as you can see, fitting it fits in there a little bit better. Now I'm going to do different things with it. You know, the first thing I would do is uh, just kind of grab this and transform uh, the character over to so that it, it's looking towards the mermaid, and like so. I'm just going to rough that in there again, something like that. Put a little bit more hair in there. And let's erase some of this so that the hair actually goes through. Okay, so, but you can see really quickly, now it gives us a sense of, you know, how the characters are looking at each other. Um, I can grab in, um, I'm going to remove that face in a second. And I'm going to move the, the face up a little bit. And... I'm going to take this uh, piece here from the background and I'm going to move that over to give it a sense of foreground element. And let's add in this and just kind of add some of this color to blend the colors elements together. All right, and so you can now start to see that there's there's a different element. The other thing is that you have a problem with too is everything's straight on, very straight perspective. So if you're doing that, if you're putting that perspective line there, that basically means you're looking up at the characters um, because everything is is kind of stationary. Now to fix this, you can either just put like a sense of foreground here, where you're actually looking at the pond and things like that. Um, you know, putting a little bit of, going up here and putting a little bit of um, foreground elements here. And then this this starts getting into that foreground, and it looks a lot better. Um, so that aspect is going to help as well. Um, and then what you want to do is, we're just going to fix this part here. Then what you want to do is, I would actually... Because you've got her 
and this is kind of a note thing here. I'm just going to show you. So you've got him looking straight on. So profile. All right. Nose, um, eyebrow profile type of thing. But you got her looking forward. So she's she's broken in, into this. So you want to uh, figure out who is closer and how to develop that so that aspect looks better. Um, and you might want to bet you you're probably better off having him as a three quarter view versus a side profile. And with a three quarter view, he can be looking to the side. So I would just zoom up in here and uh, let me just paint real quick. Uh, something like this, something like this. Um, there's this. And let's grab the hair, put some more hair in there. Okay, and then let's grab some eyes and darken the nose and under the chin and under the lips. And we would, uh, let's just grab a black here and And it needs to be a little bit more tweaking and playing with than this, but I'm not going to pixel push this. So, but it's just basic, so you understand. Um, and so that gives it a little bit more dynamic look to it. Um, I think your depth is really good. Uh, your foreground elements, uh, you should probably, with this new stage here, the foreground elements would probably change. So I would just um, honestly. For quick fix, I'm just going to uh, grab this and we would copy that, like transform, and putting something like this in there, and. And let's see here, let's do something like that. And something along the lines like that. So this gives you an element, a focal point to look at. And then look at your silhouettes too. Um, and it's simple things. What I would do is, let me just collapse these here. A simple thing would be to grab this and he's got the, the arm resting on it. But simple transform. Oops. And moving the arm over like so. And then taking the brush. Let's bring this up in here. Taking this black brush right there. And having him... like so, makes a little bit more sense. Because now you can pop in some of this light here and it gives you a better silhouette. The same thing with her, um, you know, now, you know, working with her, the same thing would happen, I would say, just to do something simple, let's transform her like this. And let's minus, oops. and then let's grab and then let's add this down here with the hand and so on and so forth and probably even some Real, real light cleavage um, and ribs and underside and probably even a reflection from the water up here. So, but that actually, you know, starts separating the elements a little bit more. And because the elements are crossing over, I think you're getting a little bit better idea of what you're looking for. So, you know, with this, I think it's a better composition. Um, going from this to that I think is a, a better transition between the elements 
And uh, I, I would kind of manipulate it and, and twist it around that way. All right?